Well, it may surprise you to know that cholesterol itself isn't bad. In fact, cholesterol is just one of the many substances created and used by our bodies to keep us healthy. Dr. Rob is in the house with five steps to give you a healthy cholesterol profile that your heart and brain will love. Yes. This is good stuff. It's good stuff. And you brought uh, yeah, essentially I, you know, a few things here. Yeah, my toys, right? Right. So you can understand what cholesterol is and what it looks like. And yep. Cholesterol is this waxy substance that your body actually makes because it's that important. Okay. But you also get it from the foods that you eat. Right. And it's responsible for cellular integrity and, very importantly, making hormones that our body needs to function every day. So it's very important to have good cholesterol levels. Okay. So, but how do you know, you know, what is your cholesterol supposed to look like? There's a couple tests that you should get, and these tests, it's very important not to get kind of the more older, archaic type of test, yeah. but the newer ones like the NMR, the VAP, and the Berkeley Heart Test, mm -hmm. something your doctor should know about so that we can find out your particle size and number and yep. types of cholesterol. And here we have examples of cholesterol right okay. here. And this one on the right, or uh, on your left here, yep. is an example of bad cholesterol. It's got all the ones that we don't want in it. Mm -hmm. The cholesterol make up too much LDL, too much of the wrong pattern of LDL, which can contribute to heart disease and brain disease right. if you get inflammation in the artery. Looking at that model, is it the, the yellow things that are bad? I mean, I, I, Yeah, the, the yellow ones represent okay. the bad cholesterol. And this one okay. here on the right, mm -hmm. this is what a good cholesterol pattern looks like. It doesn't have a whole lot of the bad cholesterol. It has the right size, the right fluffiness, more yeah. buoyant, kind of bounces off the walls of the artery, yeah. so it can't create the damage. We want to keep the inflammation out of the arteries. And how do we do that? Mm -hmm. We do it with a few simple steps. Exercise okay. is the most important prescription your doctor can give you to decrease inflammation in your body on a regular basis. You just have to get out there and walk 30 minutes a day. That's it. Reduces inflammation. Yeah. The next best thing, fish oil. Mm -hmm. Now, how does fish oil help us? Fish oil, which is a great cholesterol, yeah. helps reduce the bad patterns of cholesterol. Uh -huh. Helps provide cellular integrity. So, fish oil is really good to use. Now, here's the most inexpensive vitamin that you can get, vitamin B3, called niacin. Now get this stuff. It's been mm -hmm. around forever, yep. and it works better than any statin drug at reducing the bad cholesterol and raising the good cholesterol. You take it like one, one day? Or? Well, it depends on what your cholesterol profile. Some people need up to four of these a day. Okay. It depends, and you need to talk to your doctor about it. We've all heard the dangers of the statin drugs, and there's over 900 studies that show how dangerous they are. It causes mm -hmm. muscle problems, tendon problems, decreases coenzyme Q10, which reduces cellular energy. Mm -hmm. People have problems with peripheral neuropathies, and they don't benefit people over the age of 70. The mm -hmm. risk is too, much, too great for the benefit. Mm -hmm. Then, we have hormone replacement therapies that can change your cholesterol profiles. Okay. Get this, and a lot of women don't know this, but estrogen is really important at decreasing inflammation in the vascular wall, the arteries, right. and it helps change the lipid profiles. The most powerful one out there. For men, it's testosterone. And the last thing, we do have about 15 seconds but left, but guess what it is? Uh, Lose reduce that yeah. unhealthy weight, right? That's Reducing right. that unhealthy weight changes your cholesterol pattern, makes your heart healthy and your brain healthy so you can live a long, healthy, and fruitful life. Well, we want to do that. All of us definitely do. Of course, we appreciate Dr. Rob for coming on and sharing these tips. Again, they're on the house. You can always find more on Dr. Rob at AmericasFittestDoctor.com. The website's right on your screen. Thanks so much for coming on and sharing those Great tips with us.